strong mind, strong body. So we talked a little bit about the mindset there, having support system, people in place. When you really need help and someone to talk to, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't let your ego get in the way. Say, hey, I'm struggling with this and this. All right, so that mindset. We have an immediate response, which is our breath protocol now. All right, deep breath. And now we need to get our body strong. So we actually gotta, put, gotta do some work. All right, so if you have mind preparation plus body preparation, that takes away stress. You're stressed about something, take care of your mind. We've already talked about how to do that. You're stressed about something, put in the work so you can feel like you're, you're strong enough to handle the game or handle what's coming, okay? Also, if you have a strong body, you're feeling more confident about yourself, which also helps your mind, all right? So just think how good you could be in a game if you had that mindset in place and your body, well, you were in the top shape possible. Just think how good you could be if you never got tired. How good could you be if you lasted to the fourth quarter? So I always had this goal of, that's fine. People can hang with me first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. No problem. I'm still there. They're chasing, they're chasing. Then they fall off because I'm in the top shape possible. I have the confidence that I worked harder than them during the week. I worked smarter. I slept better. I ate better. All of my preparation took away my stress. So at least when I step out on the court, I know that I prepared better than them. And then sometimes I make the shot, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I make mistakes, sometimes I foul, sometimes I get benched. But the things that I could control, I did. And that really um, gives me that confidence to step out on the court. So that strong body is super, super important because you want to be able to last. In the fourth quarter, I have the legs to make the jumper or the rebounds or the defensive stop. All right. And you can trust your training. Like, hey, I am tired, but I've trained in this mode. I, I know how to handle with this. You don't freak out because you're so tired and blah, everything goes. Um, so, yep, those, those are kind of the, the th main things I really wanted to talk about. Nutrition, daily minimum. What, what do you want to be when you grow up? So how are you going to make that money? How are you going to educate yourself on that career outside of being a professional? So you see how I'm talking about a whole lifestyle here. We're talking about mindset, strong body, being fearless. All right. So you have all of these notes. And this is the last thing that I'll say. So I have all of these notes. We're kind of everywhere. All right. This is the last thing I want you guys to write down that we can put all of that information into one easy checklist. Okay. So a checklist for the well-rounded athlete or well-rounded person. All right. So this is how I know that I'm taken care of as an athlete and a person. Okay. So what we have here, checklist. Number one, your head, getting your mindset right. All right. Believing in yourself. People around you need to be believing in you. So you're feeling really, really good. All right. You know, you're, you're totally fine with failing. That's how you're going to learn. Okay. So that's your head. Next thing is your heart. Got to be passionate about the game. Doesn't mean you always love it all, all the time, but it, has, it does have to be fun. Fun, passionate, your hunger, your eager. You want to study more. You want to learn and watch more, watch film, critique film. All right, I'm almost done here and then we can do questions. But we have head, your heart, then your hand. High five. All right, your hand is your goals. Are you guys writing down your goals? What's your daily goal? Which I tried to help you that a little bit with nutrition and your daily minimum. What's your daily goal? What are your habits? Do your habits look like, do they follow? Yeah, yeah, I wanna be a good basketball player. But do your habits show? Do your goals show that, that you're actually doing what you're saying? Are you talking the talk and you're just talking, talking, talk? Are you walking the walk? Are you actually doing and working towards that talk, towards that goal? So your head, your heart, your hand, write down your goals, ask for help, get a program, all right? No excuses, that's part of it, all right? That's your goal is to show up and do this every day and to do the homework. The last thing are your legs. Your legs keep you up, don't they? You stand on your legs, they're your support system, all right? So you ask yourself, who's helping you believe in yourself? Who's helping you have a strong body? Who's helping you um, or getting your support to reach your goals? 
if your parents are helping you change change it somehow, I mean, you still got to listen to your parents a little bit. All right. But if the people around you aren't helping you reach your goals that you just wrote down with your hand and your, your mind's made up to do it, you're passionate about it, passionate about those goals, your support system. All right, you are who your friends are. So really pick out people that are going to help you on that way. Okay, so those are your, that's your four checklists hitting every area of your life. All right, 